thank you everyone for coming. Um, we also appreciate the, the great turnout for the Purple WRT meeting. Um, so thank you again. As always, the means are recorded. We post them on YouTube uh, so others who aren't here can see it. But if that's concerned to anyone, uh, please let me know uh, either now or after the meeting or, or whatnot, and we can uh, try to handle that. Um, kind of standard uh, agenda. Um, I don't think we have any uh, introductions because everybody kind of knows each other here, I think. Uh, move on to board status. Um, I haven't uh, done much on my board farm end. I'm still uh, just was preparing to set up the uh, um, uh, the Jenkins instance, so I can you know do automated uh, testing. I just ran it in a in a VM on my end to kind of get the setup right before I moved on to an actual server or on a on a on a. Um, uh, server from uh linode so uh but is this uh jenkins uh, like can you access it from the public internet like someone could go and see your build and see why it failed or or start it by I, clicking a button that i don't know yet um okay. i'd probably not be able to start it um but i don't know what the feasibility is of like being able to show people the results and and things like that right um, i'm not I wasn't sure, sure what your plan was to like have like a jenkins that anyone could go and look and see the latest build and if, uh, or what if if we can't do it through jenkins we would do the the like the being able to see the results and see uh and get the builds if they want them that would we would do that through like a you know a separate web server we'd, we'd make just copy it over as part of uh as part of the jenkins build or something so okay jenkins um, has its own access controls and stuff so you yeah. can always set up a user account for people to look at your builds yep definitely so i still haven't quite figured that one out but i think that generally yes obviously it is it's going to be public as as much as possible um so my my uh the submit i made of the of the non-root uh test users we're still waiting for some you know if anybody else has some feedback on how on how it's done um we had some from matt which is very much appreciated uh so i will i'll take that into account on my end um the uh ansible work i i don't think i've i've really updated but uh, I've, i have some updates on my end but i'm waiting to kind of finalize those based on any changes i need to make to board farm itself uh based upon that pull request um and there was uh and, and matt had brought this up um and we kind of talked about this last week there is an issue an open issue that i think everybody who's interested should talk should uh give some feedback on the discussion was you know Reorganize, reorganizing the repo, uh, particularly uh, have tests in a separate repo. I think there's some other things that we may or may not want to move into a separate repo. So I think it's a, um, it'd be good to kind of get people's sense of, you know, what should be, what should stay in the main repo, what should stay in a separate repo, um, just to make it as easy as possible for people to kind of like pick and choose. Like I made changes here, but I can still accept um, changes from upstream. Um, in, you know, most of it, but my work isn't going to get, you know, overwritten easily and I don't have to deal with merge conflicts and all that kind of stuff. Um, I, I don't know what the, what, what the final kind of result we will have is, but I think it'll, it'll be interesting to see, uh, to get some more feedback on that. Uh, board farm wise, that's, uh, pretty much it from me. Um. Anyone else uh, talking about, you know, work on board farm and, and anything related to that? From Gimolo today started the integration or to, to work with board farm. Uh, just a brief question, um, which uh, raises the difficulty. Th Thomas, the I, I think you're, I think you're speaking, it's really soft. Okay, um, I can do the closer. Um, can you hear me so? That's that's a little better, yeah. Okay, so uh, people at Demolod today um, started to work uh, on board farm and uh, use it. And uh, I have one basic quest question which uh, comes up uh, while looking on the, on the setup uh, and mm -hmm. uh, the description uh, regarding the VLANs and uh, the switch. So um, as I understood, there is a, a switch with uh, different VLANs, for example, one for internet access 
one for uh, LAN and one, one for the WAN. Um, and um, in this case, all goes to, to the PC where the um, board farm is running. And uh, from my point of view, it looks a little bit like uh, this concept um, relies on uh, the OpenWRT device that it is configured as a router. So what if, uh, let's say, LAN and WAN ports are both in the same, are, are bridged together? Is there a, sh a chance that this worked or has anybody done something like that? Uh, if I understand correctly, uh, you're saying, what if you want to test not a router, but something else? Yes, let's say a bridge, uh, just uh, uh, an access point, wireless access point, where the WAN port is, is something like uh, the normal Ethernet port from the access point, and uh, the, the, the LAN port could be a, a Wi-Fi station which is connected to the device. Um, I can say that we've done stuff like that, and it should work, but you may have to have a different uh, class, right? Right now, um, there's a class called OpenWRT board or something. I forgot what it was, but um, if, it, if it's a different kind of device, you might need a different class written to handle and, and, and talk to that and change its state. Um, but, but we have done stuff like that. We've tested things that only had a, a WAN port, or we've tested things that were Wi-Fi only. Okay. I think that uh, it might even work with a current open WRT device, because when I was starting, I was testing just uh, one side of the router, because I didn't have uh, well enough uh, network cards. But you definitely would need to pick up uh, just uh, just test that uh, would somehow work and correctly specify what is your LAN device and one device. And yeah, you probably want to avoid all Wi-Fi tests because they could disconnect you. And well, <laughs> right. <laughs> mm. We have to go more in the details. And uh, but you say okay, basically it's possible. It's not the, that the concept uh, behind it uh, does not allow that. Yeah, there's nothing that would block you from being able to do that. Uh, you know, just new devices were meant to have a new class maybe written. Um, you know, if it behaves differently than OpenWRT router, uh, there's other IoT devices that, you know, only have one interface and that's fine. Mm -hmm. yep. hey. oh, oh, Thomas, I just wanted to say there, depending on, on how it's done, um, if, if it's significantly different, it may there may be something uh quirky you may have to do with uh, in bft um because uh, i know that that is um has been i think that's come up or once or twice but uh if there are any changes i mean that that it doesn't work the bft for whatever reason the the main executable doesn't function or doesn't you know create the classes proper or the objects properly um We'd certainly accept, you know, would want pull requests to to handle this better. Is that NBFT? BFT. Um, it's it, it's a uh, a Python file in executable in the uh, in the root of the board farm. Okay. Yep. Yep. It it may it may completely work. I'm not saying it wouldn't. I'm just saying it, it's possible that there may need to be a change if if it's done in a way that that every you know is completely unexpected or something okay thank you awesome yeah definitely we we definitely want board farm to be usable from and and useful for as many situations as possible because it's it's a really cool it's a really cool tool so awesome anything else about board farm from anyone Okay, um, we can move on to talking about uh, funding OpenWRT projects. Uh, Kathy and I are um, finalizing a um, a uh, email that uh, she is going to send out an announcement of 
that we're accepting proposals uh, to be funded um, in the current round of uh, funding from the uh, Technical Steering Committee. Uh, we'll probably send that announcement hopefully out by the end of the day. Um, and that uh, meeting for the, the TSC uh, to decide on funding projects, I think is May 23rd. So we would want um, the uh, people who had submitted proposals to, to, to kind of talk about their proposal at the Purple WRT meeting on, um, I think it's the 18th. I'd have to look at my calendar. Um, that Thursday before. So they would need to be in before that. I know that's that's kind of a, um, oh, I'm sorry, the 19th. I know it's kind of a, a quick turnaround, but uh, that's just kind of how it had worked out in this case. So the deadline would be the deadline would be the 19th um, or the 18th. They'd probably be the 18th because the yeah, presentation. That's what I was on. thinking. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, yeah. So, and we'll we'll have the details in the email. Yeah, just just a question. I kind of forgot uh, the beginning of this project. The idea is that you would sponsor people that would propose the idea, or can somebody propose the idea without having time to implement it, and you would sponsor somebody who? Yeah, um, either either. Well, I, I think it could be either way. You know, because when you propose an idea but you can't implement it, that's we can send that right back out as long as it's reasonable. I mean, what we're going to do with the announcement is here's some ideas of members and companies that, you know, things that people have been asking for. If you can do anything of these things, submit a proposal. So it's, it's fairly broad. So if you can give me right now what you want done or send me an email, I'll put it in the initial announcement that goes out this week, probably today. So yeah, do you have a we oh. uh, uh, okay. yeah. uh, I have some idea about what I would like to do on OpenWRT, but I'm not sure whether I will have time and if I will have ever time. <laughs> yeah. So so yeah, so if you have ideas of stuff you'd like to get done and you'd like to have somebody else submit and you know. Okay. Uh, a request for funding to get it done, just send me an email. Um, yeah, okay, I will send you an email and uh, we can talk about it if it makes um, sense. But... Yeah, do you have my email? Uh, not sure, but uh, I hope that it will be in some uh, in CC of some of the mails that Eric sent. Yeah, I would otherwise... hope so. Or I will send a mail to Eric and ask him yeah. to forward. Sure. I there can you go. Through. Yep, definitely. Um, yeah, we, we, we are certainly accepting ideas. Um, how much we can do after today um, in the, because it's such a quick turnaround, I don't know. But um, the goal, I think, also is that as this goes, you know, even for the projects that aren't accepted and, and um, if there are any projects that aren't accepted, it would be to, to continue this and kind of broaden it out and make it more generalized as we go. But um, just to get the project, the the you know process started and actually starting to fund some projects is very important, um, and it's a good. I think it's going to be a good start. Uh, I found a question, uh, Hauke here. Yep. Um, how will this work? Uh, so will the uh, proposal be um, visible to everyone with, the minute it was uh, proposed? Or will it be um, later on be visible? So I was thinking about the the situation when someone proposes some something, and um, if someone has an idea to do it, yeah, we could. Uh, this thing, in addition, would also be really nice for us, and so that you have some something like a discussion or something like this, or an improvement of this uh, initial proposal uh, from from other people, which are not really related, but have the same idea, similar ideas and mm -hmm. uh, target goals. It's also uh, for people that are not really interested to implement it there by themselves, but just have yeah the idea. Yeah. I'm I'm not sure how much we're going to be able to. I because I, there are questions of like, well, how much do you want people to release ahead of time, and they may not want to have all the details out there for because it involves you know like funding and, and process. Uh, I think initially we're going to go more um, that 
there's going to be a presentation at the at the Purple WRT meeting. I think long term we want to have more of a collaborative effort, but I think short term it's more um, the probably not going to release the proposals um, and the and any of the details until that meeting, um, uh, and then. Uh, everybody would provide as much feedback as possible. And that would be a perfect place for people to be like, okay, this is, here's how we could also go from this idea. Um, and then we kind of have like a, a rolling set of proposals over time. Um, but yeah, I, would yeah. like, I would like it more but, generalized over time. But, but, but I think the idea is good, Hauke, that you're saying that essentially you want, even if I were to implement something, I would want collaborators. I want people Absolutely. to bounce ideas off of. So, yeah, so you submit an idea and then there's collaborators out there who may be interested in your idea and if you're smart, you'll welcome them to collaborate with you. You know, even if you're the directly responsible individual for getting it done, the more people you can get feedback on and work on it with you, the better. Yes. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Okay. <laughs> All right, anything else on this topic? All right, um, we'll, uh, on regulatory update, not a whole lot. Uh, Simon Wonderlick is going to do a presentation on the FCC topic at, um, at uh, Battle Mesh next week. Uh, and uh, he and I are, um, are looking over uh, his slides. He asked me to review them, so I'm, I'd be, I was very happy to. So I'm going to be doing that and give him some feedback. Uh, anything anyone wants to talk about with that? Or um... Okay, we'll move on to OpenWRT Summit. Uh, the most exciting, uh, I think, part, of, part for me is uh, that we have the planning committee's first meeting is next Wednesday at 8 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. Um, so the uh, committee will, will talk about kind of um, the things we need to work on um, and kind of the, the timeline for decisions that need to be made so that we can, uh, you know, sign all the agreements and, and get, get the budget set and all those kind of, uh, you know, businessy things that we can, we can get done so we can, uh, have an even better uh, summit than we did last year, which I think was a, was an outstanding success. So I'm really excited. We've got a very broad range of people, I think, uh, from uh, core team members to people who are uh, downstream users to just people who are interested. So I think that's really good stuff. Uh, and I'll anything? put, I'll put oh. well, I'll put notes, I'll just put a quick note in the notes I can send out, which is if you don't want to be on the committee or if you're not on the committee, but you have ideas for the summit, you can definitely email Eric. Oh, yeah, definitely. We'll, we'll take, yeah, plenty of ideas from there. We'll, we'll keep bringing it up in these meetings too so that people can um, respond as we will probably plan and announce and do a feedback loop as we go. Absolutely. I will certainly uh, talk about any decisions and discussion. All right. Anything else that anyone wants to talk about related to that or any other topics related to OpenWRT and Purple and anything? All right. Well, um, thank you everyone for coming then. Uh, really appreciate the great turnout and uh, look forward to working with you over the over the next week. All right. Bye. Thanks, Eric. Sounds good. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, Eric. Bye. Bye. Thanks, bye.